Hello guys, Sandsky is here. Organizing your mix session. This is something very important for your workflow for different reasons. It might be for yourself to get your work done in very fast time. You find your tracks and your mix in a very easy way. Or even though if you want to uh, share your work with other producers or musicians, they're going to contribute in your project. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about different things. First, how to name your tracks really important thing and then we will follow up by organizing and cleaning your session all the things that you don't need and how to hide them and how to show them up in your project and we're going to talk about colors how to add colors into your tracks to make every group of instruments with different tracks it's easy for your eyes to follow up on your project and we will end up by adding a group of instruments into group channel and you will understand why Let's break this down together and see all in details. Okay, guys, we are back into our project. Uh, in this lesson number three, I'm going to focus more about the organization of your session, your mix session. And let's see here, I can come to my part here and I make it larger. First, I need to put names on every single track because you see, we're starting to have a lot of tracks here and we have around 13 some of my projects I have over 40 or 50 different tracks and I want you to make it simple so I'm staying a little bit short over here and that's enough how to get started now first of all we gotta put names on every channel then when we start to mix later on when I change things we can find them very easy and they're here our mix console if I have progressive house progressive house progressive house you're completely lost you don't know what is it and if I come and I listen over here on solo and I can say okay this is hat I will call them close hats because they are close you see here how they sound now the other ones okay these are open hats okay keep going this is simple kick drum Keep going. This is claps. I haven't inv invented these names. That's the names that all producers are using. So we got to talk the same language. Another hat. So I will also call them open hat. Two, since I have two. It's very interesting to have different hats and different sounds because then we can really make the sound much more open. Don't just stick on one hat and uh, on one percussion or one synth. It's good to have different sounds that you can shape and you make your sound sounds completely personal. Let's keep going. This is percussion. If we have different percussions, just say percussion one, percussion two. You don't need really to go to details at the moment. Well, this is here hip percent. Let's skip it. Doll bass. It means it's a bass. Here I have another bass. You see, it's upper, so I would call it synth bass. You can see them playing at the same key, but they have a different bass sound. I put them together. So I'm playing a high frequencies with low frequencies together and make sounds much more full. Take this away. I'll keep going again. Here I have a lead. Okay, keep it bent lead. Here. I kept it also beat line, it's D for duplicate, but let's call it two. And probably I will call this left and the other one right, but I will explain this later on. This is band lead, I will say probably it's called pad. Pad one, or pad left, pad right. You see, when I put them together, they sound full together. I will just put it bad 
two, and then I will decide which one go left and which one go right. This is the first step, getting the names in all the tracks, then you can find them very easy. Uh, let's say if I have a lot of channels over here and some of them I don't want to see them anymore because I've been trying them and say okay this is not the sound I want to use in this track and maybe I want to keep it for later you, you never know and you don't want to delete the track I will ask you to come here to visibility and for example this pad if I don't want to keep it right now in my project but not deleting it I will just hide it from my project see just by here Click in and click out and that's it, they are back. This way you can work much easier and you, if you have 40, 50 tracks and 10 of them are not used right now, you just hide them and if you need more ideas and you want to get back to them, it's a very easy way. How do I organize my tracks? This is my way, but of course everybody can find its own way. I'm putting my drums on the top, then I follow up with the bass line and then I put the synths under and I will go with the pads at the end and if I have a vocals I will start with the vocals on the top of the project but this is my way how you colorize your tracks it's really important and so let's see first I have all my hats, kick drums, claps, percussion all of them here that's very good and I want to decide which color I want to go this group of the drums uh, kit I can click on it and if I come here Colorize select track. I can choose, let's say, uh, I want to go with uh, blue or I want to go with orange, red, green, whatever. Let's say we choose this color for the drums. So I would go with all the drums with the same color. It's much easier for your eyes to really go straight away for the thing that you are looking for. Since now I have all my drum sets colored in green. I know exactly green color goes for what so it's much easier for me to go back now I say I want to look for my baseline so I would drop it up that's my way of doing it so my baseline okay I can keep it purple like this and I say my synth is coming under it let's keep it red so the other lead I'll go give it the same red color oh was this one yes and again, I will go with the same lead color over here. Now the pads, I can give them another color and I would say, oh, they are purple. No, purple we will be using it, let's say yellow. And the other pad goes also with yellow, oh, this yellow. Okay, now you see we have much more colors. It's much easier for us to work. So again, I've worked with the drums. Baseline under, synths, and then pads. And if I have my vocals, I put them on top. So all everything is grouped. That's the first thing. So how to colorize your tracks. Now, if I select one track, I click on shift on my keyboard and I select the other tracks all in green. I can just click right and say add track to group channel. Group channel to select the tracks. Now make sure that it's always stereo and give it the name drums. Now I can say add. If I come here and look in my mix console right, I will see this blue channel called drums. So for example, if I play the music over here and I will put down the volume, all the drums will disappear. I will go back into zero again yes so you see this is my group track of all my drums and I can also do the same thing with my bass line what I can do with my synth okay add track group channel stereo synth I say add track. If I go back here in my channel, here is my other group called synth. I can also do it from here. So if you want to have these two tracks also added into group, you can do it directly from your mix console by clicking one and shift on your keyboard and the other one. Click right 
and then you can say add group channel to select channel now again stereo and I will call it pad channel pad group sorry now I have three different groups so this is really important the reason why we're doing this is really important and you will see it later on in details I hope guys this part is really been clear to you and I want you to make sure to get to your track and make sure that all your tracks are organized the way that we've been doing right now and I will see you in next video for more and more thank you see you bye